Okay, I'm going to try and do Fire and Rain, and I, I do say try because uh, trying to play like James Taylor or anything close uh, is, is challenging. Um, and I just learned this song probably maybe six months ago, so not too long. Um, one thing I was going to mention too is the capo on the third fret, but I just did uh, Everything I Own by Bread with the capo at the seventh fret. And now that it's down at the third, one thing you would definitely want to do all the time is retune your guitar. Um, because it's something about having a capo in different positions can definitely throw it off a little bit. Um, and if you don't have one already, one of these guys is really uh, great. The, the advance that they made with these where they actually um, pick up the vibration of the guitar on the, on the wood there. It makes it just perfectly perfect for, um, especially tuning with a capo. You know, it's always hard to tune with the other tuner that I have for years with a with a different uh, tuner. Okay, so here we go. This thing starts. Starts down. All right, here we go. So that's about my best and uh, you know like I say I just if I get close to James Taylor I, I consider it uh, an accomplishment for me <laughs> so it starts out like I say capo on the third it's got this little signature slide and uh, pick you know he's finger picking the whole thing pretty much so you're gonna slide from here this is your what, seventh fret <laughs> And I'm 
fucking the, the A in the bass on that part. But on the uh, descending thing, he goes and drops and plucks the sixth string. This is kind of a new a D and then a little hammer there. Slow. Hopefully you can follow. I'll try and explain a little bit. There's an A here, and what I do is I pluck kind of the signature uh, signature thing that he does in this part of the song. Anyway, this song has a few signature parts, by the way. <laughs> is kind of plucks these two or three bottom strings, probably the two with the A, I think. a matter of timing lifting that finger and, and suspending it or whatever he's doing. It's into an E. And then sliding that. Drops this finger on the B string. Kind of a fast little pick there. So I was trying to run it from the top. Okay, so that's the just yesterday morning part, and then the oh, let's see. So it's a D here. And the best that I can come up with is just trying to time this out so it stays with the vocal because you know James is probably doing all these different great picking things with his right hand and <laughs> the way he plays but uh, the best I could do is something like this and one thing I notice is I try and get the correct bass note in there so right here it's a D the fourth string is in the bass coming up to this it's like a descending so the bass is It's really a great song. It's worth putting the effort into, I think.